The contradictory trends in the jobs market obviously have political implications. Laura Tingle's 7.30's chief political correspondent. Laura, since the Prime Minister returned from overseas last week, the expectation's been that the government would try to shift the conversation to the economy. The jobs numbers do that, but does it do it in a helpful way? Uh, I don't think they do, uh, Lee, just because there is so much static in the numbers, as we've just seen in, uh, in that story, uh, all these contradictory trends. They reflect these really sort of confusing messages coming out about uh, what's going on in the real economy, uh, which is making MPs very nervous. Uh, you know, the, the, there are all these signs that things are really snapping back, but, you know, people will just tell you anecdotally in their electorates, they're seeing all the closed shops. People are short of income because they've used up their savings. Um, they don't know whether they can have Christmas holidays. So this whole idea that you can sort of say, well, look, it's been a tough year uh, and uh, everything will be fine is, is one thing. But uh, and, and certainly the, the, po the, the pollsters say that focus groups are saying, well, the one thing that's going not too badly is the economy. So that's why the government wants to focus on it. But MPs are nervous. And the fact that the Prime Minister has been campaigning all week in Melbourne, which until a few months ago was regarded as really safe territory for the government, has in fact only made them a little bit more nervous. Laura, before I ask the next question, let's take a bit of a look at the Prime Minister's activities this week. Oh, hey. Could be in James Bond for <laughs> this thing. Here we go. It's a natural transformation, really, isn't it? So what time's the bus to you? I suspect you've had to do quite a lot of fix-ups. He's a good-looking dog. You think you're going to get one of these, mate? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Laura, it looks like an election campaign. It smells like an election campaign, but there is no imminent election. What's the story? Uh, the story is, Lee, that um, the government is uh, worried. It's uh, obviously fallen uh, significantly in the polls. Uh, what was once going to be a, a campaign largely fought in a few seats in Queensland is now going to be fought right across the country. There are a lot of seats up for grabs. You've got MPs in inner city Melbourne seats actually saying that they're not part of the government and trying to walk away from the government's position on climate change. Uh, the government, the, the Prime Minister is facing these accusations from the Labor Party that no one can believe what he says because he keeps doing these reversals of policy, uh, uh, on particularly on uh, issues related to climate change. So he's going to have to run really hard and fast. And of course, for the last few months, he hasn't actually been able to physically visit a lot of places around the country because borders are being closed. So he's really tr trying to get out and get back on the campaign trail change the uh, discussion about what people are focusing on, uh, but it hasn't really gone all that brilliantly for him this week. Laura Tingle, thank you. Thanks, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.